Hello guys, it's Cody. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer your Spotify playlist to Apple Music. So I have just uh, created this uh, empty playlist. I'm gonna transfer my Spotify playlist to this uh, testing playlist. So We'll be using the shortcuts app. Well, I just uh, updated this shortcut Spotify playlist to Apple Music. I will share the shortcut link in the description. You just click the link to get this shortcut. Of course, you need to have the shortcuts app. So let me just uh, copy our Spotify playlist link. Uh, this is my uh, Spotify playlist, only five songs to give you a simple prick to show you how it works. So let's tap share and the copy link, copy the playlist link. I'm gonna go to shortcuts and run this shortcut. So this uh, wait three seconds action, uh, I add this because uh, the iTunes store only allows you to do 20 searches per minute. So otherwise you will, it will, you will receive the timeout uh, error. So I have just uh, you got two options. Uh, create a new playlist or add it to existing playlist. I have just created a playlist. So let me just uh, add to existing playlist. So to the testing playlist here. Yeah. Well, it's uh, seems to take a while. Because th this will add the all the matched tracks to this playlist. So this will take a Oh, it's uh, long, longer than I expected. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, five songs. Let me go to Apple Music and uh, you see uh, five songs from the Spotify. To make this quicker, I can just uh, Remove this actions, uh, remove. And then uh, this one search for. Add to all your playlist. Let's just uh, select a playlist. So this will add one song at a time. Add one song after fun, one song, one track to this uh, playlist at a time. This uh, will probably quicker. Let me just uh, explain how this works. So this will get the your clipboard. So if you want to know more how about how this shortcut works, uh, keep watching. This actions will simply get the a playlist ID. Let me just to show you. Let's add a quick logo action here. This will simply get the playlist ID. Let me just copy a playlist playlist link and run it. You see, here is the playlist ID. If you if you see it didn't get the playlist ID, so this shortcut certainly won't work. This uh, this shortcut is previously uh, made by someone else, uh, but I see 
but it's a lot of working, so I have updated it. And the this is the I assume it's the client ID and client secret from Spotify developer account. So this seems to be the access token. The Spotify access token will expire in one hour, one hour or two hour. One hour, so this is certainly expired. So this will actually get a uh, news. The shortcut uh, below, you, you'll see below actions will certainly get a new access token. And you see the here is the Spotify API URL. You see, uh, you will use the place ID and the market, market equals US. You can change this to yes or or other country code uh, based on your location. Uh, this is the refresh code token. The refresh token will not uh, will be used to get the access token. The request URL it's uh, here. You will use, you will go to this uh, location to to open this URL to get the content of this uh, URL. So this. Because that uh, access token is expired, so you certainly get the four o one error. So you will, and this is for get the new access token. Here you see. Using the refresh token to get the access token. Get the value for access token. So here is set the variable oath token to the access token. And uh, here, this will open this URL game. Uh, this time, it's the correct access token. So you can get your track details like uh, track name and uh, artist name and so and use this to search for you see artist and track name uh, search in the iTunes store and find each so each tracks and add to uh, any playlist that you choose so that's how this shortcut works Hope you find this helpful. If you do, please subscribe. I will share more videos just like this one. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.